Hey everyone, um, I thought I'd just give you a quick wrap up of this uh, last week. It's been a pretty full week on a number of uh, reasons, um, especially since we had the first Ma Melbourne Makers Meetup last Sunday. Really, first of all, everyone who turned up, thank you so much. I've got a great feeling that this is going to be something that uh, we're able to do to support each other and hold each of us accountable on the projects that we want to work with and also jump in there and help each other out by supporting um, our maker journey. So uh, we had a really, really amazing turnout. And in fact, we had some really cool projects that came along. Uh, one of the projects, uh, one of the first projects that we had that I was incredibly impressed with was a one piece 3D printed car that's actually uh, powered by a rubber band. It was a pretty amazing piece of work. Um, I'd love to be able to download and see whether or not we could actually print some of these out. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of design work uh, went into that and it was re I really appreciated the abilities that these machines and the, and the structures we make with them. We can actually find really great innate properties within the actual printed object itself. So this is pretty cool um, and I was pretty impressed by that. So definitely thumbs up on the 3D printed car. So I'm sure you guys remember Andrew Jones from a post I had a few weeks ago. Uh, Andrew came down to the meetup and he actually brought out some really cool wooden uh, handmade items. One was a fidget spinner, which seems to be all the rage. Uh, they seem to have uh, kind of infected Australia, Melbourne at least. Um, that I see them everywhere. So uh, Andrew made this kind of really cool fidget spinner and he also made a wooden uh, wallet, which was really kind of neat. So um, those things were amazing. I'm hoping to catch up with him in the next couple of weeks so we can go out, explore, and then actually make some stuff. So that was pretty amazing. So thanks, Andrew. Thanks for bringing it down. One of the guys actually brought along an incredible CD pr uh, ripper. Um, this was a pretty amazing thing. It seems that uh, he had ripped his CD collection a few years ago and it took him about a year to do so. So he wanted to automate it. And what he's actually done is he's built a, a whole bunch of servos on a th CD drive from a computer and then used an Arduino and actually was able to make these hoppers where the CDs would sit and a claw would come in, drop it in, it would process it and then pull it out and keep going. When the math was done, it worked out that his whole collection could be ripped within two and a half weeks. It was pretty amazing. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this project goes. It shows a, a blending of a whole lot of really cool skills, a lot of 3D printing, a lot of design, a lot of math. We, they were talking about uh, the actual uh, gearing and how, how do you actually work that out. These are all skills that are completely new to me, so I'm looking forward to learning that as well. Um, so, you know, the CD Ripper, keep your eye on that one. Um, I'm hoping that it'll become a Kickstarter and I'll be able to print out these parts and get the electronics and be able to do that with uh, my own collection. So keep your eye on that. One of the other things that we decided at the uh, this, uh, meetup is that we're going to hold it uh, once a month so we can all keep an eye on our different projects and kind of hold each other accountable, which is something that I'm really looking forward to. I have all these great projects, but the truth of the matter is I'm so busy with my day job and all the rest of it that uh, if I don't tell people what I'm doing and they don't expect anything, I've got to be honest with you, it kind of gets left to the wayside. So I'm hoping to, that this will actually make us a lot more uh, accountable and we'll be able to get a lot more projects done. And in fact, you know what? This YouTube channel is all about that too. As I'm speaking to you guys now, I actually have to get stuff done, which is fantastic in motivation. So thank you so much for that. And I'm looking forward to, to showing you some of the stuff that I've done in the past and in the future. Really quickly, I also want to remind everyone that Mini Make Day is on this Sunday at Library of the Dark from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Come on down, there's a link below to, uh, to tickets. I'm going to be there, I'm going to be hanging out with the CCHS in, on their soldering and also the workshops. Um, come down, say hello if you see me. I'll probably be carrying this camera around so you can come say hello. It'd be great to get as many people saying hello to everyone. You'll see yourself on, on the channel. Um, come on down, it's going to be an interesting uh, day, mini make day at Library at the Dock as part of Melbourne Knowledge Week. 
Okay, the last thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that I got some great work done this last week on my XYZ carve, which is uh, something that I've been working on since I think it was November last year. Um, I, got, I did a ton of work on the waste board and all I've got to do is connect it up. So this was a bit of a, a, a challenge for me. I wasn't too sure what I, how I was going to get this done. Um, I went down to the local Bunnings. I got a quote for it. They asked me originally close to $100 to get it done. Um, I was able to go and actually get it all cut up for about $30. I was like wrapped. And I've also inserted all the different little uh, screw holes so that I've actually got a mount for it. I would love to actually make a vac uh, platform for it, but at this point in time, I just want to get it up and running as quickly as possible. I'm also waiting on a new electronics package, um, which I believe just arrived today, so I'm hoping to have some of that stuff to you guys real soon. I'm dying to use this machine. I've actually kind of had a bug about CNC machinery since I spent the time with Jimmy in New York, and I'm really, really keen to, to start uh, learning that skill and being able to produce a whole lot of stuff but you know what? That's part of the, lear the learning curve and that's the maker's journey. So that's it. Um, if you're coming down to Mini Make Day, please come and say hello to me. Also, just really quickly, you'll, there's a link below right now uh, for um, a new project, part of this uh, YouTube project that I'm starting called Maker's Monday. The first one is live and it stars Jimmy Darista talking about himself as a maker. Guys, I've had a blast this week. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. It's great to have that back and forth communication. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you know people who like this sort of stuff, let them know that this is going on, especially if you're in Melbourne or Australia. And the other thing is, help me out, hit that subscribe button. So if you can help me out, I'd really love that. Also, I want to shout out to the I Like To Make Stuff Facebook crowd. Guys, I love meeting you all. Thank you so much for your support. And I'm looking forward to sharing a lot of this stuff with you too. That's it for me. Um, I'm going to say goodbye and guys, go make something and share it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys do. Okay? We'll see you real soon. Bye.